Iman Gadi, one of the biggest business influencers, runs a software company called Flozy. However, Flozy's marketing website does not really live up to the quality we expect to see from Iman. But that's not a problem though. Not because a website doesn't matter, but because he relies on upsells from his courses to sell this software. But what if he didn't have an audience. What if a regular person was to start this business with this exact website and relied on it to convert visitors to clients? Chances are the business would very quickly fail. And it's not because it doesn't look good. In fact, visually, it's all right. The big problem is that it's simply confusing. Overcrowded graphics, mockups you can't see anything on, subpar testimonial design, and some basic layout issues that if fixed would make it a lot better. So in this video, I will be redesigning Flozy's here section to find a simpler and easier to understand design language. Part 1. The problems. The website has a dark and light mode. Each one has its own graphic but both are not suitable for a hero section because we have too much info that at this point in the funnel is simply not relevant. Instead what we want to do in this first section is we want to spark the visitors curiosity. And this honestly just looks confusing. Even if the software is super easy to use, this text heavy graphic is making it seem very complicated. But I get why they went for something like this. The software itself offers tons of features and they want to showcase everything that it can do. But I think there is a way more efficient way to do that. In fact, the founder is very proficient in this method and it's not being used anywhere on this landing page. And this groundbreaking method is video. A simple one to two minute video could explain these features way better than a complicated infographic ever could. So in our design, let's replace this image with a video. Problem number two. Although the design is clean when comparing it to other modern SaaS websites, it does look a bit outdated. The font, the layout, the background, the button designs all could be improved. I'm thinking we should go for a cleaner, more timeless approach. The current background color is 100% black, but if we add slightly color to it, it can give a whole new look to the website. In the size navigation, we see problem number three. Although using just the logo symbol is cleaner, we always want to build brand recognition and without seeing the brand's name, it's hard to achieve that. So I will simply add Flozy next to the logo. Problem number four typography. The current typography is not bad, but it's also not great. The balance in the current layout feels a little off. The shape we create doesn't really flow, so we'll try to fix that. Having an accent on a certain part of the headline is great, but simply coloring it is not always the best approach. Obviously, our accents should fall on in one place. So what I'll do is I'll center the text, make in one place way bigger, and add the description and button below. I'll also plug this trust building sentence below the CTA. Now, if if you look at the shape of our text, it's a lot more balanced and your eyes are naturally attracted to it and want to read it. So we've solved our navigation, our text, our confusing graphics. Now it's time to make this look attractive. And that's where we meet problem number five the background. I want to create something that feels more branded and has some life in it. We don't want to be boring but also we don't want to be overly playful because this is a serious software for business owners. I'll take the logo symbol, make it big, lower the opacity and give it a fading gradient. And to breathe some life into the background, I'm going to add a radio gradient going from dark to a very light blue color while adding four different color points. And now, I think our redesign is finished. Let me know in the comments if you think I improved it or if I ruined it. Also, if you'd like to see how I would redesign the full page, leave a like and again, let me know in the comments below.